Welcome to Science Access. In today's class, we'll be talking about ecological pyramid. And we'll be following this outline. What is ecological pyramid? Types of ecological pyramid. We'll talk about the pyramid of numbers, pyramid of biomass, and pyramid of energy. Let's talk about the importance of ecological pyramid as well as the limitation of the studies of ecological pyramid. What do you understand by the term ecological pyramid? It's actually defined as a graphical representation which displays the biomass or bioproductivity of each trophic or feeding level in an ecosystem. Please remember to watch my previous video on trophic level so that you understand this better. Now, take a look at this diagram. This diagram shows all the trophic level in an ecosystem in a graphical manner. This presentation of various trophic levels in an ecosystem in a graphical manner is termed ecological pyramid. Now, at the base of this is the producer. They actually occupy the trophic level one. Now, those that feed on the producers, which are actually the primary consumers, they occupy the trophic level two. The primary consumer are also called herbivores. Those that feed on the primary consumer occupy the trophic level three, and they are called secondary consumer or carnivores. Now, there are organisms that actually feed on the secondary consumers. They are called tertiary consumers. Those that feed on the tertiary consumers are called quaternary consumers. Note that as you move up the trophic level from 1, 2, 3 and above, the energy level actually decreases as you move up the trophic level. There is also loss in energy as you move up the trophic level. Now, let's take a look at the types of ecological pyramids. The three types of ecological pyramids are pyramid of numbers, pyramid of biomass, and pyramid of energy. Let's take a look at the pyramid of numbers. The pyramid of numbers shows the number of organisms in each trophic level in a food chain or in an ecosystem. Now, take a look at the diagram. We look at the producers. We have more than 5 million producers. Now, take a look at the primary consumers. We have 708,000 consumers. And the secondary consumer, we have 3,000 secondary consumer. The tertiary consumer, we have 20 tertiary consumer. Now, the pyramid of number is actually gotten by counting the number of individuals in each trophic level in an ecosystem or in a food chain. Take a look at this grassland ecosystem. When you count the number of individuals in the producer trophic level, primary consumer trophic level, secondary consumer trophic level, tertiary consumer traffic level, I represent this in the graphical manner. You have your pyramid of numbers. So let's take a look at pyramid of biomass. In pyramid of biomass, instead of measuring the numbers in each trophic level, you just measure the organic matter or the biomass in each trophic level. In other words, you measure the dry mass or the mass of organic matter present in each trophic level. As you can see from the diagram, the producer actually have 809 kilogram per unit area or per meter square. You have the primary consumer having 37 kilogram per unit area or per meter square. Now note that the dry mass can be measured in gram per unit area. The last kind of pyramid I'm going to discuss in this video is the pyramid of energy. The pyramid of energy simply describes the flow of energy in an ecosystem or from one trophic level to another in an ecosystem. Now, take a look at this ecosystem. You realize that the producers actually have the greater amount of energy or the uh, largest amount of energy, while the primary consumer has the larger one compared to the secondary consumer. So, the energy flow in an ecosystem actually decreases as you move up from trophic level 1 to trophic level 5. Note that the pyramid of numbers does not always have a larger base. For example, you can see the pyramid of number in a grassland ecosystem. Look at the larger base and the primary consumers are actually larger than the secondary consumer but also note or take a look at the diagram of pyramid of numbers in a tree realize that a particular large tree can sustain a large number of insects and the insect can also sustain a smaller number of birds so you have a pyramid of number in a tree where you have a smaller base sustaining a large number of insects and all that so also note that in pyramid of biomass does not always have a larger base. In pyramid of biomass in terrestrial ecosystem also have a larger base. But what about in aquatic ecosystem? We have a smaller biomass of phytoplankton sustaining a larger.
how mass of zooplankton and all that. So, but in the case of pyramid of energy, it always have a larger base. Please take note of it. What is the importance of ecological pyramid? Ecological pyramid indicates the efficiency of transfer of energy in an ecosystem. It indicates the feeding of different living organisms in various kinds of ecosystem. The information provided by studying ecological pyramid ensure that our environment or various ecosystems can be monitored and prevented from degradation. What are the limitations of ecological pyramid? They actually do not capture or acknowledge saprophytes, which form a basic part of all the ecosystem. Ecological pyramid do not acknowledge the fact that a particular organism can occupy more than one trophic level. For example, hominivores can feed on both plants, which are the producer, acting as primary consumer, and can also feed on flesh, acting as carnivores. So, organisms can actually occupy more than one trophic level. And lastly, ecological pyramids do not convey any concept regarding the acknowledgement of climate or environmental condition influencing feeding pattern in an ecosystem. This is the end of the lecture. Please subscribe to support this channel. Thank you.